Everyone loves buffalo wings, right? You don't have to go to a bar to have amazing buffalo wings. I'm gonna show you how to make super easy ones at home and they're so delicious. Here I have two pounds of chicken wings. You can figure about one pound of wings per person. You have to remember there's bones in the chicken, so that accounts for a lot of the weight. So that's your drumstick, and that is a flat. Some companies will leave the tip on. Ours, as you can see, the tip's been removed. If you get your wings and they come with the wing tip, you can just chop it off and use the wing tip for stock. This morning, I put these wings out on the baking sheet and popped them in the fridge, uncovered, so they would have a chance to dry out. If you think really far in advance, you can do this the night before, and that's ideal, because that will give you the driest skin, aka the crispiest skin. As insurance, I'm also gonna dab them with a paper towel, so we're sure that they're extra dry. At this point, see, there's not even that much moisture left. Now, we're ready to season our wings, so I'm gonna put these all in a big bowl. And we are going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil, some garlic powder, Totally optional. Also, if you like your wings a little spicy, you could do some cayenne or paprika. Salt, obviously. Pepper. And another crispy skin secret, a little bit of baking powder. We know that baking powder helps with browning when it comes to baked goods, and it's true with chicken wings too. All we have left is to mix. Just make sure they're all evenly coated. And also, I would be a little bit gentle with them. We don't want to tear the skin. I've prepped a baking sheet fitted with another cooling rack, and I put a layer of aluminum foil under the cooling rack. That's just to catch any fat that's gonna render out of the wings while they're baking. Makes it easier to clean up. And we are gonna lay out our wings like so. The good thing about the cooling rack is it allows the air, the hot air to circulate under the wings as well as from above, giving them a more even cook. I like the drums because there's, I feel like there's more meat, but it could be wrong. I want to make sure they don't touch so they have a good amount of room to brown on all sides. We've got an oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna pop these guys in. They'll take 50 minutes to an hour to bake completely, but I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes so I can flip them halfway through. It wouldn't be buffalo wings if we didn't have a buffalo sauce. There's usually just two ingredients in buffalo sauce, hot sauce and butter, but our recipe has a little secret and that's honey. It adds a third element to the sauce that makes it just ridiculously addictive. It's a great balance because the butter gives you some fattiness, the hot sauce, a lot of acidity and heat, and the honey is the perfect thing to balance it out. So we're gonna start by combining our honey and our hot sauce. We've got a small saucepan here, and I'm just gonna put medium heat on, and we're gonna add our hot sauce and our honey. When it comes to hot sauce, you can really choose your favorite. There's Frank's, Cholula, Texas Pete, they're all delicious. We're gonna wait to add the butter until these two are thoroughly combined because we want the hot sauce and the honey to really combine. We're even gonna bring them up to a simmer. And it is time to add our butter. Now we're just gonna stir it in until it's fully melted. Something about the hot sauce and the butter combining, it's just, it just makes you crave wings. Once this is completely melted, I'm gonna bring it back up to a simmer and we're just gonna let it thicken a little bit. Another great thing about adding the honey is when we pop the wings back in to broil, the honey gets kind of caramelized and makes them so good. So we'll set this aside until our wings are ready. It's been 20 minutes and it's time to flip our wings. So I'm gonna pull them out, looking good, getting some color, but not quite ready yet. Just gonna grab some tongs. Back in the oven they go for about 30 more minutes or until they're golden on the outside and cooked on the inside. <laughs> it's been an hour and our wings are ready. Look at that crispy skin. So stoked. I am going to now change our oven from 400 degrees to a low setting of broil. And I'm gonna toss these wings in the sauce. So I'm just gonna transfer them to a big bowl. Careful not to rip the skin. We are gonna pour all of our sauce on top of the wings now and just get them fully coated. And I'm just gonna give it a gentle toss. Again, I don't wanna break that skin, but we just wanna make sure our wings are fully coated. You could totally serve these as is. 
they would be delicious. But we're gonna pop them back in the oven and give them a broil so they get a little caramelized, a little sticky, so good. All right, looks good. So we're gonna bring back our baking <laughs> We're gonna bring back <laughs> our baking <laughs> We're gonna bring back our baking sheet that we used before and put them back on in a single layer. Because there's a little bit of sauce left at the bottom of the bowl, I'm just gonna take a silicone brush and give all of them a little bit extra. I don't know about you guys, but I love super saucy wings, so the more times you can brush them, the better. Dang, these look good. Our wings are super sauced, and it's time for them to go under the broiler. I'm gonna put them on the top rack and we're gonna let them go for like maybe two minutes. The broiler can be kind of a testy thing and every oven has a different broiler. So I'm just gonna stand here and stare at them. <laughs> so really keep your eye on them. Make sure they're not burning. They're ready. I've been watching carefully and they're just about perfect. They took on just a tiny bit of color and they look great. finally eat one. I'm not huge on ranch on my wings, I know. You can tear me apart in the comments. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna eat mine straight up. That skin, so crispy. I would take these over bar wings any day. Get in on this. <laughs> Woo!